bolt to go in. That is the... That's what in the world puts the pad and it should be used. The, um, let's take a little now then crew Andy mechanic here and welcome to my youtube channel um, this video really sort of follows on from the three episodes which did the uh, the glue testing and uh, that spurred a lot of comments uh, some of which were very interesting uh, all of which were very um, they you know they certainly helped for people to understand what was going on and there were some really valid points made in in those tests uh, I basically did what's called a shear test, and that's where the two plates basically get got pulled apart like this. Now, there's no stipulation on the instructions for this glue, you know, whether it's a shear test or, you know, the, the, the two surfaces have been pulled apart, like a separation test, I suppose, whatever you call that. Uh, there's no, you know, no reference on the either instruction as to, you know, what kind of force that 75 kgs maximum hold relates to uh, on the on the sh uh, on the cellies uh, glue um, as regards the 3m there's no claim there's nothing to say on here that it will support you know x number of kgs so we've already got the uh, the very professional sort of uh, crane scales now that we can use you know, for, for getting some pretty accurate readings um, on this test. So, hey, you know, why not run the test again, um, performing a separation test as opposed to a shear test? And then we can get to use this, uh, this really cool gadget again. So what I was thinking, I've been mulling this over for a few days, because uh, it's been Christmas, and, you know, that's what you do over Christmas. That's what I do anyway. Um, is to come up with a plan of what's going to be a really good, you know, separation test. And I was thinking about what kind of component I could use, you know, off the shelf that I've got kicking around. That's a standard size. It's made of, of um, you know, a really um, set material, so it can be replicated. So it's like for like for the two glues. And I came up with using some valves. I've got plenty of these. Pull plenty of engines apart. So I thought what I'd do is, first of all, I'll chuck it in the lathe, each one, and I'll clean up the surface because that was another point that was made in the comments is that, hey, Andy, you didn't clean the surfaces well enough. You should have you know, used some emery cloth or applied some special kind of cleaner to it. Um, I didn't do any of that because it didn't tell me in the instructions. It just said clean and dry and free from any grease. Okay, so that's what I'll do. And that's what I did. I use these these sort of zinc coated plates, which I know they've got a pretty shiny surface, but the instructions didn't tell me to do anything more than make sure it was clean and dry and had no grease on it. And that's what I did. However, you guys, and there's been a few glue specialists have come forward, which is really helpful, have said, look, if you want to try and achieve the maximum load that that glue claims, then you're going to need to prepare the surface. Now, I don't have any particular cleaner uh, other than brake cleaner to, to clean these surfaces so I don't know if the brake cleaner is going to react with the glue or not it's probably not what 3M or Araldite would recommend so I'm not going to use any kind of cleaners all I'm going to do is chuck these in the lathe and give them a clean up um, what I might do depending on yeah what I might probably do actually because they're all the same is at the moment we've got a bit of a concave area on the valve there and I want to get rid of that, so I'll, I'll turn it down in the lathe, assuming that my, my bit's hard enough, and make it a dead flat surface. Now that will give us some nice clean metal anyway, with no impurities on it. There'll be no grease on there, for example. Uh, I'll, I'll give the, the rest of the valve a bit of a clean with some brake cleaning before I start, to make sure there's, there's no cross-contamination onto that, uh, that surface, because there is obviously oil and so on in the metal around here, on the stem. So I'll do all four in the, in the lathe and, and clean the fronts off. And then what I'll do is I'll weld on the end of the stem a big nut 
on each one. Now this is obviously going to test my welding as well, isn't it? But I'm pretty sure my welding is going to be stronger than a bit of epoxy glue. Sorry, <laughs> epoxy glue. <laughs> That's a joke. Right, so I'll, uh, I'll crack on. We'll get these lathed off. Well, in fact, we'll get them cleaned first, then we'll lay them off, and then we'll weld on those nuts. There, that's a plan. Right, here we go. Looks to me like Ben's been using the lathe again. I'll turn it. Never cleans it when he's finished. Right, that should be enough. There we go. Right, I've already cleaned these valves with some brake cleaner. Okay, I see if it's all going to work. Cool. See how hard these valves are. Right, lathing is done. I do, do enjoy a good lathe now and again. Right, so all four are done. And they're all the same diameter. And I haven't touched the surfaces and they all look pretty much the same to be perfectly honest. So I think this is gonna be a pretty accurate test. And all we're gonna do once I've welded those lugs on is basically we're gonna glue these two together and then we should be able to pull them apart using that, uh, that rig that we set up using the engine hoist and the truck. And then we can measure how much force it takes to pull these apart with each of the two glues. Right, let's go get the MIG fired up. Right, that's all the prep work done apart from mixing the glue, so that's what we've got now. There's the nice shiny clean surface and a big blob of weld holding the nut in place. So hopefully the welding won't fail, better not. Um, so yeah, so all we need to do now, mix up some glue and stick them together. That's the plan. Right, to the glue. Right, we we'll need something to, to mix the glue with, so I'll just use my old Africa Bar card. Yeah, bit of a plug there, Africa Bar. Thursdays, Thursday evenings, great night to go. You find out why when we get there, when you get there. This is where Andy cuts his fingers off, no doubt. Jeez. Okay. Awesome. Okay, well, we can make that work, can't we? Right. Didn't know that was going to happen. Okay, one for later, 
one for now. Perfect. Right then, so first off, the Sellies. I think I called it Shellies before, but it's not Sellies, S E W -L, L. Right, so equal amounts. There we go. Put the cap back on, that way around. There we go. Right. So this is the Sellies. And yes, I'm going to mix it on cardboard. I was told off for mixing it actually on the on the actual test pieces last time, which is understandable. Apply this to both surfaces. Cool, that's one. Okay, we'll mount one in the vise, stick the other one on top. Okay. Okay, so we'll pop that one straight on there. Cool. Now, the 3M product comes with a nozzle. And it tells us not to mix it ourselves. So I'm just going to use the nozzle, and I know um, a couple of viewers commented that maybe this doesn't mix the glue quite as well, but this is what 3M supply, and this is what would be used, because essentially the idea is that you put the glue straight onto whatever it is you're applying the glue to the surface, not to a piece of cardboard, and then onto the, in this case, the valve head. I'll put it onto the cardboard, and then we'll, we'll apply it using the Africa card. Right, here we go. You can see it going down the little mixing tube in there, look, mixing its way up. The idea is it comes out mixed, that's the plan. Right, that should be easily enough. Okay. Right, little mixing card. Here we go. Make sure that the whole surface has got a nice even amount of glue on it. Cool. Right, we'll stick that one in the vise. And now for the other half. Jeez, trying not to get glue everywhere. Right, let's add a couple of seconds just to, to cure. Okay, that's really fluid, is that one? Perfect. Right, stay. Right! Fingers crossed, we've done everything pretty good, I reckon. And uh, we'll leave these now for a couple of days to cure. 
Hopefully Ben won't come in the workshop. I'll have to warn him to stay clear of these two vices. Vice eye, vices, I don't know. And, um, and then we'll set up the rig, and in the next video, we're going to test to see just how strong these glues are in that separation test, as per, well, I don't know, the comments, basically. I think it's pretty pretty unified there. You know, I've tried to do the best job I can to choose components that are, again, identical, that will give us this really uniformed separation force. Okay, well, if you enjoyed this video, why not click on subscribe? You'll see a little gear icon turn up. Click on the gear icon, and then you can tick the box and turn on notifications. If you're using a smart device, just click on the bell, and you'll, that'll also turn on notifications. You'll also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Feel free to communicate through any of those portals. However, YouTube comments, first point of contact, because that's where the videos are, if you don't mind. All right, crew. Well, until next time, cheers. Over and out.